About a year after construction began in downtown St. Cloud for the city's revitalization project, business owners are still struggling to get their customers to come back. West Street's Megan Mulatto joins us live from downtown St. Cloud. Megan, the construction itself is finished, but it's still having an impact. Yeah, about a month ago, this roadway right here, Pennsylvania Avenue, was torn up and completely blocked off. Now, construction has been completed and the roadway is reopened. However, business owners that we spoke to say they're still struggling. They say despite the construction being done, they're still working to catch up. Where we ran into challenges... Um was the continued delays. Trevor Estill and his wife own Garage Bar in downtown St. Cloud. They say they didn't prepare for 12 months of construction in front of their shop. 120 day project turned into six months, turned into eight months. We're now in uh, two weeks away from, not even two weeks away from 12 months. Estel tells us the dust and debris diminished their customer base, causing many regulars to find other watering holes in different parts of town. I anticipated being down 60 to 70 percent revenue for the period of the construction, even two months beyond. So we had budgeted for six months. No one can budget for a year's worth of delays. We have managed to bring back about 20 percent of our revenue. Our um, Weekends are at about 50% of normal. Our weeknights are still well below that. But the hardest part, he says, was losing part of his team. They could no longer make a living working downtown. Uh, that's, that's rough because most of, most of my people stay for a very long time because we have a, we have a good environment here. So. Estel isn't alone. Other business owners are in the same boat. That's why he says he's asking the city for two things, to hold the contractors accountable and also for better marketing to let people know St. Cloud is back open for business. May of 22 is when the construction started and it was an immediate decline. It's just, yeah, it, it hurts. We reached out to the city for a response to Estel's concerns. They tell us they are working on developing a new marketing plan for the downtown business district. We're live in St. Cloud. Megan Mulatto, West 2 News.